a buried treasure. On a day quite dark, and dreary causing mind and soul to weary, I sat beside the fire quite contented with myself. I entertained the thought of dozing, and my eyes were ever closing focused vaguely on a bookcase, and the books upon the shelf. Yes, books of many volumes, forming multicolored columns, of my imagination and the secrets they must hold. My aimless fingers wandered, as through the books I pondered then, by chance, I found a volume that was ragged, torn and old. I thought, best it be discarded, for the price of time had marred it, and it bore a musty odor caused by ever-growing mold. But, I happened to discover neath the dust upon its cover the inscription Holy Bible letters etched in faded gold. So, I probed amongst its pages with its history of the ages, at first with passing interest, then transformed to utter awe. The story of creation with its wealth of information to the sheer appreciation of God's wondrous, perfect law. It told how shepherds trembled when angelic forms assembled to bring forth the joyous message of a wondrous virgin birth. Within sin infested nations, there's our need of God's salvation, so, our Lord, with love and mercy, placed his son upon the earth. It told how Peter thrice denied him, in result, they crucified him. Jesus murmured it is finished with his last and dying breath. His body was imprisoned, three days later, he had risen and his mission, thus completed, even victory over death. I then laid the book beside me, analyzed the thoughts inside me, and I marveled at the message that this great book had to tell. Within its beacon cover was a treasure to discover, rich in paradise eternal and escape from Satan's hell. Now, I cannot help but wonder of this world, so torn asunder in which greed will form a ladder by which man can raise himself. Man will go about his labor, cheating brother, friend, and neighbor while, unopened, lies a Bible gathering dust upon a shelf. I can draw but one conclusion, why we're plagued with such confusion. My philosophy is simple, although some might think it odd. In man's constant search for pleasure, he's misplaced a priceless treasure, a guide for life and happiness, by the greatest author, God.